Today, I'm going to take a USB 201 straight from the inventory and go through the steps necessary to get it up and running. First, let's see what you get when you order a USB 201. You get the USB 201. You get a one meter USB cable. The MCC DAC CD, which includes InstaCal, Tracer DAC, our Universal Library for Windows and Android, and our ULX for Anti Lab View. Get a quick start guide, an overview of our multi platform support with DAC Flex, and an overview of our DACME software application. First thing to do is to review the MCC DAC Quick Start Guide. This guide basically reviews the included software packages and has steps for both software and hardware device installation. Next, we will want to install the drivers and software provided on the MCC DAC CD. At the very least, you will need to install InstaCal and the Universal Library. Today, I'm going to be using TracerDAC, so I will include that in my installation as well. If in the future you will be using NILabVIEW, then select those options too. Once the software has finished installing, you will install the USB 201. The USB 201 is a plug and play device and will be automatically detected by Windows. A found new hardware message is displayed as the device is being detected and the driver installed. Now we can open up InstaCal and add the USB 201 to the configuration. If installed correctly, InstaCal would automatically detect the USB 201. Once installed, you can close InstaCal and open up Tracer DAC. Let's set up our USB 201 for measurement. First, we will start by reducing the number of channels collecting data to one. Then change the units to read volts. Next, we want to add the USB 201 to our setup. We will be using channel 0, and the USB 201 is fixed at plus or minus 10 volts, so no changes are required. Last, we will want to reduce the number of charts displayed to 1, and set the label to read volts. We will leave the Y axis at its default settings. Now just click the run arrow to start the data collection. So let's recap. The software installation took less than five minutes. Add that to the setup and software configuration when we come up with a total of about 15 minutes from start to finish. That means you can have a USB 201 up and running in about 15 minutes. Now that's not bad at all. Well, that's all there is to using our USB 201. In fact, these are the very same steps needed to get any one of our products up and running right out of the box. Thanks for watching and tune in for more how-to videos from Measurement Computing.